Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here. And today we're going to be talking about new Pokemon Snap. And more specifically, the trailer that we got last week from Nintendo and the Pokemon Company showing us the presence of legendary Pokemon. I've been excited for Pokemon Snap in this new iteration of the game for a while now, ever since it was announced. It's It looks like an absolutely gorgeous game, and it's going to be a really nice reprieve from the mainline Pokemon content for a little bit. But now that we've seen these legendaries, I think there's a lot more here that is going to extend the viability of this game and make the playtime that much richer and more interesting. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. Now this new Pokemon Snap game takes place in the Lentil region, a vast island paradise full of different environments for wild Pokemon to roam and for your player character to take photographs of them. It was a formula that did very well on the original game on the N64, I believe, if I'm getting that correct, and they're finally doing a new game. Fans have wanted a new Pokemon Snap game for what feels like decades now, and I think that the hardware is in a really good spot that this game is going to be gorgeous. It was always going to look great, it, we've seen it from the first trailer, but now it looks like there could be a feature that I want to theorize on a little bit, and granted, Pokemon Snap comes out in two weeks. This video could be totally defunct and false in two weeks, but that's the nature of theorizing, that's the nature of discussion videos. I think that it would behoove Pokemon Snap to add timed events into this game. Now, we already know there are some. We know that there's going to be certain Pokemon that appear during the day and certain Pokemon that appear during the night. But now that we've seen the presence of legendary Pokemon, specifically Lugia in the ocean, I think a new Pokemon Snap and Bandai Namco, the developers of this game, should take this feature a step further and introduce seasonal legendary Pokemon appearances for your photo decks and special timed legendary appearances that extend the gameplay of this video game. Extend the gameplay of this video game. That's a weird sentence. I want them to take a page out of Animal Crossing. Now, listen, I am like most people. I am a decently impatient person, and it did bother me a little bit when playing through Animal Crossing New Horizons last year, how you had to wait for certain months, certain days to catch different bugs, to find different fish, and there were seasonal things. But one thing that it did is it gave the game a lengthy amount of staying power, and it keep, kept people coming back and playing. For a game like New Pokemon Snap, part of the long-term appeal is going to be taking different photographs and getting the best photographs possible, and then sharing them on social media, whether it's in the game or on Instagram, Twitter, all those various real-life social media applications with your friends. I think that they should add a bunch of different legendary Pokemon into this game. Lugia, Celebi, I believe we've seen Celebi. Different Pokemon that appear in different seasons, different times, and under very different conditions. Conditions that you really can't just create with your Nintendo Switch, or create at any point in time through the story. This would allow you to go back into certain biomes and certain areas in New Pokemon Snap, the different the different varied areas in the, on the island in the Lentil region where during the day and night you find Pokemon and incorporate legendaries and mythical Pokemon in places where they might not normally be. This would also give you a really good bonus. You would get extra an extra score, extra points for capturing these legendary Pokemon when they appear, and you would have incentives to be able to find these Pokemon, and you'd be able to use the different items just like you can with other Pokemon. The Fluff Fruit, I believe they're called, and the Lumina Orbs could also be used with these legendaries to capture great shots. It would extend the playing time, and that's my biggest thing. Pokemon Snap, the original, was a short game. You, it has a lot of replay value because of its concept and because of the ability to take different photos with different angles of Pokemon, but it was an on-rails short game, and it still had an incredible amount of replay value. I know a lot of people who play it once or twice a year, they always go back to it because it's a classic. I think legendaries are the perfect way to incorporate a more long-term gameplay mechanic into this and allow you to keep coming back. I think an additional thing that new Pokemon Snap could do, and it would be amazing if they did, which is why they might not, is have some of these environments change with the seasons. Incorporate a real-time season clock just like Animal Crossing does. During the spring, certain routes in certain areas look one way. Once we hit the summer months, they change a little bit. Maybe the Pokemon behaviors change. I don't necessarily want to lock a ton of normal Pokemon behind these walls. I think legendaries, you can get away with it. 
So I think the areas and the the movements and the way in which the Pokemon interact with the environment is the thing that should change. And I think that would give you a chance to go back during each of these seasons and say, okay, what's new? What's different? How can I take new cool photos? Once it, I mean, obviously once it hits fall, things change again. And then once it hits winter, you get this beautiful snowy environment. Some of the areas get a lot colder. Maybe you see more of a certain type of Pokemon. Maybe it's easier to capture photos of certain Pokemon, or maybe they even take it all the way and give us updates as we get into these more, as we get into more months so we can find more Pokemon. This is a game that they could just throw out on April 30th, the release date, and do nothing else with. And it would be great. And it would be a really fun experience for a lot of Pokemon fans, especially those of us who grew up, I didn't, but those who did grow up with the original Pokemon Snap. But I think there's a way you could take it a lot further. And I, I, it's, there's so many cool, neat ideas for how they could accomplish this. Being able to use legendaries for seasonal events, for timed events, will extend the gameplay possibilities of new Pokemon Snap, and it'll give the game a lot more staying power, something that some side Pokemon games have experimented with. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, which is still today a mouthful to say, was putting out special codes and special rescues months into the game's release. It was a small little bit of support, and it was a feature that was already baked into the original games where you could go and rescue your friends, but they expanded upon it, and they did it really well. This was also a feature that, was, that existed in some of the other Mystery Dungeon games with the DS and the 3DS one, uh, systems that had online multiplayer functionality, and they did a good job supporting it. Generally, Pokemon does a pretty good job supporting their side games. They don't just pour all of their effort and energy into the main ones. They do understand that there's a pretty big audience for these side games. There's a lot of people who are more casual Pokemon fans who might pick this up and really enjoy it. Those who don't necessarily dig their teeth fully into the main games, the main RPGs with competitive battling, online trading, filling up the Pokedex, all of those things. Pokemon Snap is a good way to give a little reprieve to those people. And I think they can really support it. And Lugia, 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 Lugia gives me so much hope that these are certain things they might just do. Being able to add things with seasonal events, being able to add different legendaries, really cool incentives to keep working on your photo decks, and also just to keep the game in the conversation. One of the big features is being able to share your photos. And I think, especially around launch, there's going to be a ton of people, especially on my Twitter feed, they're going to be sharing all of these different images of really cute or really cool Pokemon that they see on their journey. And this is something that Game Freak, even though they're not developing it, Bandai Namco and the Pokemon Company could really capitalize. But what do you guys think? Do you think timed legendary events should be a feature in new Pokemon Snap? Do you think Bandai Namco is going to give this beautiful thing to us? And are you looking forward to new Pokemon Snap? I just pre-ordered it. I always intended to get it, but I just got around to paying that hefty $60 Nintendo Switch price tag, um, which isn't always the best for a college student. And I also want to do some Pokemon Snap videos. I've been throwing around some different ideas, maybe incorporating shorts into new Pokemon Snap content on the channel because it's going to be something different for me. Um, but if you guys want to see some new Pokemon Snap coverage, some new Pokemon Snap shorts and gameplay, let me know down in the comments. And so you don't miss those videos when they finally go up, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Last week, or this week, but earlier in the week, we surpassed 3,000 subscribers on the channel and it came quick. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. Coming back, it's been a dream come true to be able to see this channel so active and so many of you engage with my content again. It's great to see, and I would love for you guys to stick around for more content in the future. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.